Hi, welcome back. I thought it'd be a few days, so flash forward, I think it's been three or four days. Had some okay weather, so I've done some spraying in here. I um, sprayed the fridge gold. It was like an aluminium color. And we've got brass handles coming, so I wanted to match the brass. This is pretty shiny, but it actually worked out quite good. There's the fridge door there, and just had a spray of the gold and some lacquer, which I tell you what, the lacquer does not play well with the gold. It literally says on the back of the lacquer, which is exactly the same brand, Duramax, this clear coat will go over any Duramax product. The moment that, that touched that, it just ran. Like it liquefied a four day old gold paint that was completely dry. Just liquefied it, ran off. So that was a bum steer from Bunnings, but managed to spray each side, keeping it upright. The decal's done at the top, but I didn't want to paint over any of the writing or numbers. I mean, it's not the best colour, but it's better than blacking out all the numbers, right? That's what I figured. Get back to that one later. Need enough. So right now I've got the fridge apart and I wanted to get back to doing the freezer hinges that were lost. They kept on falling down, there was no tension on them. So I want to do the freezer door hinge now. I think we'll give that a crack and see if I can get that resurrected. But before I do the freezer door, check this out. Now it's dusty in here already. He folds in. The finger chopper. Yeah, all right, back to the fridge door. I've been putting it off. I sort of have a rough idea how this goes on. There's two sides and they are different to each other. And you kind of put it in loose and then set tension, <laughs> I think. I'll give it a go. I'm not quite sure though. Because this is, this seal's like pretty chunky here. And it's still pretty soft and malleable. I'm gonna say maybe it is touching, it's just so soft it's pushing it, but nah, I think I'm, I think I'm off. It's better than it was before. I guess we can just turn it on later and find out if it holds, if the door keeps it closed or not, or it frosts up everything. Alright, might assemble the rest of this and put that door onto it. See if it actually works. Alright, I'll just check everything I've got and yes I am missing a bottom drawer that I totally didn't ever realise wasn't ever there. I reckon if I just measure that up I get a bit of glass cut. Just some I don't know four or five mil safety glass and slide it in. It'll probably stay there. I think we're gonna need that shelf, otherwise you're stacking stuff on top of each other. Ugh. Oh god damn. Uh this tape, I left it out in the rain, I think that's what's happened with this tape. Because it's meant to be painter's tape, but it just goes like super glue once it's been on for about 20 minutes. Oh, so the rain's done something to it. It's too good. <laughs> Alright, come back to this. Yeah, blue tape's gone. Door closing for the first time. Ooh. It's 
Worse of a fit than the last seal. <laughs> the last seal actually was pretty good. I don't know why I bothered changing it. So what they say to do is... The first time you use it, you can see how that... Like focus on this. Do you see how the seal just pops in there? Hits, as it hits the metal, it's got a magnet down it. What they say to do is heat it up. Because, yeah, there's a, there's a few bits around here where it just isn't touching. I said I heat it up with a heat gun. To soften it. Let it strike against the metal so the magnet goes off. And then leave it shut for an overnight or something so that the seal forms to that shape. It's just definitely something I'm going to have to do right now. Because it's nowhere near touching through here. All right, we can get the heat gun. We'll put the rest of the front on and come back and get the heat gun. Fridge done. Sort of. Well, it's a little bit better than it was. It looks a heap neater. Still got to figure out the seal put the drawers in it and give it a run and see if it even works. It's probably not even going to work after all that. I've got to get it firing off gas 100% and it needs around 12 watt while we drive. This has been uncovered for god knows how long and was full of water last rain and I should have covered it and I forgot. I'm going to put some tape over it now but there's water all down that line so I'm going to have to back pressure from the stove to try and blast that water out here. I don't even know if you can do that with a regulator, it might be one way or just forward pressure might be better with a bucket or a plastic bag taped around the other end. Just forward pressure the water out and send it to the stove line and not the fridge. I've got individual shutoffs for each of them so I can shut off the fridge, send it out this end here. It's literally just floating here. Put that in a bag around that. Pressurize it. Uh, another mini project. Just want to see if this drawer hits that freezer thing and closes it shut because it's got a gap at the moment. So I'm just going to put you in the fridge to check that for me because I can't see anything when I shut it. Alright, I'm just going to put you there. You can just check this and let me know. See anything? All right, so that definitely doesn't touch. There's like a 10 mil, 20 mil gap between this and this. Two ways I can fix that, I think. Put that in there. I can go and buy a fridge seal and get better springs. Or I could just put a section of foam tape across the front of this to literally push that shut when it closes, which might be the way to do it. All right, I'm done for the night. I'm gonna paint these drawers tomorrow, but for tonight, out. All right, so I can't resist finishing something properly. I love being out here. I've got the heat gun onto the seal there and the corner where it wasn't touching. Both are now making contact with the back plate. So that worked really well. It's completely sealed now. There's no pressure on the door, which is what you want. And then I'll, these holes don't quite align where there was a pin maybe. I'll make a new one in the center here and a nice one you can drop in and out. And that should be it. Night, night. It's not the best day for spraying. It's uh, beautiful now. It's gonna be one of those days where it's just like belts of rain and sun and rain and sun. So I might go up the shed and do those Start prepping those shelves, I think. Take the locks off them, start spraying them, but... Anyway. Finished the fridge last night and just put the door back on this morning. It's actually running right now. I'm running for about 15 minutes. And I can definitely feel the back fins cooling down. I can actually hear the gas moving around or something running. This freezer plate's getting down now. So that's cool, that's working. The seal with the heat across this lip just here ended up making a good connection with that back plate. 
and that really pulls in now so yeah that should be completely sealed just the freezer part won't be it's got it running on mains um, pretty high like seven I think only gets eight anyway just to cool down for an hour and see what happens put the cover on this aircon it's gonna need to clean but just put it on and ran it and it's hot air coming out now but it stinks I don't know if some of the paint got on the elements or something when it heats up but my god <laughs> it smells like poison or something so I'll ventilate well in here and run this for a bit and see if it catches fire and then um, we'll go up the shed and keep painting these cupboard drawers. I think I'm going to do all the blue ones first. Prep them and paint them blue. So I'm just kind of sorting out these drawers, the blue ones. And taking off all the hinges, all the locks brass parts and just starting the process and washing these down with some soapy water spraying them off and then this is my drying room the solar room got a little heater running in here it's probably about 25 30 degrees in here and these are just the wet ones that I'm drying off let them dry for a few hours in here prep them with some prep sole Easy prep, and then paint them. But yeah, this is the kind of boring part of it, so I'm not really recording taking it apart. It's just sort of separating them out. So skip forward over this stuff, I think. And moving on to the white ones now, after the blue ones. Let's... Weather's turning. rain coming. Just plodding along doing these ones now, the white ones. So they're all washed and taken apart. Got a few more to go. A couple more in the wheelbarrow. Just laying them out in the shed to dry. Boy, it's hail. It's hailing. Oh man! Jesus, I'm getting out of the way! Back this trailer up a bit more, it's getting smashed. Make doors in this shed. Gotta block this in and block that door in, block that door in. Just so open, everything just washes in. Move some of this stuff backwards, I reckon. We've got rain back to here, about a metre and a half back from the start. That came in sideways. Ah. Horrible weather to spray in. Look at this ice is kicking around. Oh, it's good water for the tanks. They must be smashing in. Oh yeah. There's three of those tanks around the place that would be just copping at the moment. It's good. Not that we're that low, but we're coming into summer, believe it or not. I've got to get a cover for this bad boy. It's getting smashed out here as well. 
All right, I might keep washing these. Not the best with it of spraying at all. <laughs> I'm freezing. Got them all stacked up in a row. So those are the white ones. And the top of the blue kitchen cupboards. Which have been prepped now and are just probably got about half an hour left to dry. They're a bit tacky still. But yeah, maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes and I can start painting these guys. Yew! Alright, just your hourly check-in. First coat of blue down on the drawers. Inside's painted white. And front of those done as well. Can't really see it, but... And then I've put some prep sole on... I keep calling it prep sole. Easy prep. Not that I'm getting sponsored, but... I think they're the same thing, those two things. Easy prep and prep sole. Anyway, easy prep on this stuff. And that's got about 90 minutes to go off. If I can paint it white. I don't know if I'll do that today. It's getting pretty late. Probably get another coat on these today. The underneath of these isn't done. So do that now maybe actually. Yeah, let's touch dry. So do that now. Cool. Alright, another update. I took apart all the push buttons, sprayed them white. And then the little housing for the push buttons were kind of like a plasticky brass. But they were, when I started cleaning them, the plastic just fell away from them. So I just sprayed them bronze and clear coated them. So they're just setting now. I don't know if I like that color. I think I probably should have left them bronze. Oh well. While those blue ones are just drying still. God, it's hot in here. I've been out here starting to clean these hinges up with Brasso. So. There's some good ones and some bad ones. You can see I've got it to the light a bit. Little bits of rust have come through, I think. Probably because he's by the beach, I reckon. It's like just salt air in these metal hinges. So I've been cleaning out the brass, so they don't come up perfect. But they're definitely a bit better. <laughs> you can't really tell which is which there. Trust me, that one was worse when before I started. <laughs> So, yeah, just making them a bit shinier. So hopefully from a distance, they just look fine against the blue. Most of this you don't see. You just see that ridge and this side here. You don't actually, and you see the other half of that there. So they're pretty trash, but it's a bit of money if you try and replace them. So I'm trying to make them look a bit nicer. Well, I'll record doing this one so you can see the difference. It's pretty dull. It's missing some of the brass on the top. I can't really bring that back, but I can make it look a bit nicer. So it's pretty dull, it's come up a bit better. I'd say it's like 50% better. I can't get rid of the actual rust marks unless I get a full buffer and cut it back and then spray them or something, but I can't be bothered doing that. From a distance they look shiny and they should be fine. Alright, six done, 50 to go. Let's keep cracking. 